Hi everyone, welcome back to Dax Electronic Repair. Today we're going to be fixing uh, the rear USB ports on a PS5. Both of them are destroyed. The motherboard is already out. And here I'm just going to show you how to do it. Alright, first thing you're doing, that gooey stuff on there, that is flux. We put it on there so our solder melts to it better uh, at, at uh, better adhesion. So what we're doing right now is actually going through each port. Uh, there's two there. And we're going to go ahead and add a bunch of uh, leaded solder. What Sony uses for the factory is unleaded. It is a higher melting point. So we go through and we get all the four legs one at a time. We're going through and getting the legs. Then you see we're going through and getting each of the pins. There are one, two, three, four right there. And then there's five on the bottom. Those are all for the USB ports. And as you can see on the other side, we're starting on the other USB legs first. And then the actual pins that carry the data second. Um, so yeah, we're just going through getting a bunch of the low melt leaded solder. It's going to make it easier in our next step where we're actually going to use some hot air and heat it up and melt all the solder so the ports come out. All right, so here's the first one we're going to do. We don't need to clean our flux up yet. It's fine as it is because we're going to be adding some heat. Um, right now I am going to be grabbing my hot air uh, rework station gun. It's at 480 degrees Celsius with a tip on it. Actually, I don't think there's a tip on this one. Yep, no tip. No tip, just the, no, okay. And as you can see, as you do it, the solder starts to turn shiny. And I've got some tweezers on there. I'm just kind of rocking it around. You don't want to force or pull these out. You will pull the pads out. You just got to be patient and wait for all of those different areas to melt enough for you to pull the pins or pull the port out completely. All right, so the first one's done. Moved up to the second one. We're going to do the exact same thing. Heat, heat, heat. You're seeing the solder melting, getting nice and silvery, nice and shiny. So beautiful. You can see your face or your future in it. It's wonderful. Then just kind of rock it back and forth a little bit and it will start to loosen up and it'll come out. Alright, so our next step is we're going to add same same uh, temperature hot air. We're actually going to get all the solder out of the hole. So we got a solder sucker and we're doing the same kind of thing we were just doing. We're just giving it heat and sucking that solder out. Suck, suck, suck. And we're doing the legs. See, the leg holes are a lot bigger than the actual pin holes. And you can see right there, I don't know if you saw it, but I knocked that little... Well, I'm fixing it right now. Watch. I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so there's this yeah, little rectangle. I'm putting some flux right down, right down there to fix my mistake because I actually heated up and bumped into this little filter for the USB. Uh, it makes it communicate properly. So right now you can see there are uh, my things in the way. One, two, three, four, five. So 10 little pads down there and it has to go right in the middle because those pads bridge through this little filter. So you just got to put it right in the exact spot because on the bottom side there are um, connections. So I put it down kind of where it's supposed to be uh, as close as you can and then you go ahead and heat it up again. You see now it is where it needs to be. Um, make sure I kind of took it and wiggled it a little bit to make sure it was uh, soldered everywhere and we're back in business. All right. So finally get that last little pin out of there, being careful not to knock that filter out again. And our first USB port is completely removed and 
ready. Um, I didn't film the other one, but I did the exact same thing on the other side. Now I'm cleaning it up with some isopropyl alcohol. This is all no clean flux. You don't have to do it, but it just makes it a little prettier. Uh, I didn't like how it was sitting. It didn't look level to me. So I went ahead and redid that filter. Um, I actually went through after this and tested to make sure it was uh, functioning properly as well with a uh, a meter, a, con uh, a continuity test on each of the pins, the test pads rather. All right, there's our first USB. As you can see, we're putting it through. You can see the legs and you can see all the pins. What you want to do is actually get your flux first of all flux it up kids always say flux it up that's what they say so that's what you want to do um, and I like to solder one leg and then the opposite corner leg because that way and you, you can't you can kind of see underneath I actually have a um, pair of pair of pliers that's holding that port up um, and in the correct place so it's completely level it's exactly where it needs to be as long as your legs are up and through poking through and all the pins there in the middle are up and through you're in the right place but you do want to have it sit as flush as you can um, so you get a good connection and it's mounted solidly to the board so I went opposite corners on that and I'm doing opposite corners on the other one I think I had the wrong tip at this time. I didn't really like it. So, yep, there I went to switch to a better one. Solder's not moving around very well. I actually had to turn up my heat um, to the 480 on this as well. It just wasn't flowing very well. So, you do the legs, and then you do each little pin. As you can see, I'm just feeding that solder in and filling it up until the hole is completely filled. Um, and it's kind of overflowing a little bit. It's like a just like a little cone sticking out with a pin in the middle because the pin needs to make contact with the pad all around it. So you just want to build up that that solder. So it gets the whole the good connection and um, doesn't wiggle around wiggle around in there. All right. We're doing both of them, so we're going to do the exact same thing on the other one. As you can see, there's my pliers. I'm putting them down, so it's pushing it up, so it is in the exact right place. Same deal. Do the legs first. It holds it in place, makes it a lot easier, and better. it gives you a better, uh, better job stronger job um, the pins themselves you don't want them wiggling around they are not structural like the legs are flux it up All right kids that's right yep and same deal just fill that puppy up doesn't have to be pretty just get it flowing and go opposite now those legs are also grounds so make sure you get enough at the end you don't want it to move at all you don't want any of these things to move and I'll actually go through and test each pin in a little while to show you what I'm talking about all right legs done go through get your little holes done in the middle each one of these carries data. You can see the traces on the board. They go to different places to do different things to make you have beautiful video game fun for the family. There you go. Like I said, not pretty, but definitely functional. All right, spraying it down with some isopropyl alcohol. Get that toothbrush in there. Cleans up the no clean flux. Again, not necessary, but 
You don't want to be gross. You don't want a gross motherboard. They'll make fun of you at school. All right, and there is the soldered in ports, both of them. Of course, we're on the bottom side. Uh, the top side is where you actually plug it in, and I'll show you that later on. But this is just an additional step. You don't have to do it, um, but I just go through and make sure that everything is soldered. nicely and tightly got the hot air a little bit of hot air just makes it uh, makes that solder kind of sink down through the holes um, and makes it just a little bit a little bit stronger it also lets you move, um, get rid of some of that extra flux that kind of soaked in places heats that back up and gets it liquid again so you can clean it off don't go too long on this. There are plastic parts on the USB. Uh, you will melt them if you do that for too long. All right, now I'm going through and I wanna go through and grab each pin or try and move it. You can do that with pliers or just a little, uh, something with a little sharp end. Just wanna make sure everything is as solid as it needs to be. These things do take a little abuse uh, with the uh, unplugging and plugging in. There's some definite force on them. I didn't like how those were sitting, so I went ahead and hit it again with the heat. Again, 480. Uh, airflow, I like airflow pretty high on that actually. Uh, it depends on your machine, but maybe 80%, I don't know, I don't, it doesn't have a gauge on mine at least. Just making sure all the connections are solid and stiff. There's no gaps, there's no misalignment, and everything looks good. So, clean it off. Again, isopropyl alcohol, when you're doing soldering, you just want isopropyl alcohol and you want a toothbrush and a little bit of patience. All right, and there's the top port. That's what you're probably familiar with. Just a little bit more cleaning to go. And that's a completed job. So if you followed the steps and you did a good job and you didn't burn yourself or others, you did it. Like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.